Oren, also known as Call Me Oren, and we are here at Cosplay Genie's headquarters. So today we're going to have a Q&A session with me. So I got into cosplay before I even knew what cosplay was. I think it was in 2008 in Dubai when my sister forced us to go to this Pokemon concert. Now I'm addicted to Pokemon. I love everything Pokemon, and it was a live stage concert where. The performers were all dressed as Pokemon characters. There was Pikachu, Jessie, James, Meowth, Mew, all of them, and they were singing and dancing. And they even I had a souvenir from there where he gave me a Pokeball lightsaber sort of thing. And watching all those people cosplaying and watching my favorite characters real life, so it was like, wait a minute, Ooh, I couldn't connect it. But at the same time, it looked so amazing. Like the wigs, the costumes, they were on point. that was my first introduction to cosplay and that planted its seed inside me so when anime con and comic con started in india i was like i'm going to cosplay and that was pretty much my introduction to cosplay and um, i started cosplaying in 2011 september so that was late september and uh, i never went back so you can say it was planted in me when i was just a kid and cosplay introduction I found out what cosplay was way back. This, the whole journey from knowing what cosplay is. And I, wait, I think I was 11 year old when I saw that concert, and I was 21 when I first cosplayed. So you see, there's a big gap of 10 years between introduction to cosplay and actually cosplaying. So it took 10 years in the making. <laughs> That's a long process, if you ask me. But yeah, it was fun. And uh, when I started cosplay, I didn't know where it's gonna go. Like it was, how do I even make my costumes? I just thought about, I want to dress up like that, but where do I source my materials? Where do I get the costumes? And I found it much cheaper to make it myself. God damn, the first costume I made was Rin Tosaka. Easy, Reebok me jaake, red sweater le liya, painted the cross, one black skirt, two black socks, shoes, tied my own hair, done. Second cosplay, Poison Ivy. The wig costed me two thousand. I was in my first year of college, okay. So I was like, wig ke do hazar. Screw this! I'm making my own costume. So yeah, after that, uh, I have started making my own costume and I made elaborate stuff. Sometimes I make my costume in just one fifty bucks. I oh, there's leftover foam. Iska kya karu? Kuch ho jayega. Le lete. So costing me. It's been a long journey. It's not just five years of cosplay. I will say fifteen years. August, the first time I wear a costume. Earlier, it used to be I wear the costume every time when I'm still making it. The process, right? I'll keep on trying, trying, trying. Now that I am doing it for a living and every day of my life, sometimes I don't have a time to wear it. So at the convention or event is the moment of truth. I wear it. Either I go. Awesome, or I go ah, glue gun staple <laughs> fix it. So wearing a costume for the first time for me is like opening a package surprise box. Either I'll find something I like, or I screw up. But thankfully, most of the time it's fixable. So wearing a costume for the first time does make me feel like I can hear the eye of the tiger sound playing in my background. Somebody just stabbed me in the heart by asking this question because I don't know how to reply to this. Um, cosplay is always going to be a hobby, something I love, but it's also my work. So when I'm working, like the cosplay making part, I get into some serious mode, but I'll always have fun alongside with it. But there comes time when I'm managing other cosplayers and I have to be strict with people. That time I'm working, like I'll be all dressed up in a goofy costume, but I'll be like. I want you there, and I want this done. That time I'm working, but when the work is done, I'll be like, oh, hi. So it's a balance between the two, and that's important. I need to have fun. When the fun, I don't have to forget my responsibilities. I have to be responsible, but I can't, you know, leave the fun out. So it's a balance between both work, fun, hobby. If I get ten likes, I get ten thousand dislikes. Okay, people hate me. They hate me, and I don't understand why. People hate me 
because I'm the only one they can hate because I'm also part of the community. Like for example, I was in this one event where there were different judges, right? People don't know the other judges, and there were huge names themselves. But they don't, they can't point at them because oh, uh, uh, uh. but they can point fingers at me because oh, sh- she's one of us. Because I was part of the community and I still am, and I have still have my roots in there. I'm, I don't act like. Don't talk to me. I'm professional. I don't do that. And because I'm friendly with all of them, like I talk to everyone. They think they can use it against me, which they can. So yes, I'm professional. I do more events than anyone in the country. I I've been the only one who went international. See, I don't do that. <laughs> I want to do that so badly, but I don't. Cause the moment I do that. I am not me. I'm not the person who loves cosplay. I'm not part of the community, and I want to be humble. If they want to hate me for it, sure. I'm lucky to be doing this. If they are jealous, their problem. I'm still gonna do it. So it, it's a big burden, responsibility. By the same time, it's awesome. It's fun. It's really fun. Like, hate is gonna hate. I'm gonna put it. in okay first day of college i go in college i have this rihanna haircut nothing in the back like military cut two straight hair and i would dress like a dude i walk like a dude i talk like a dude cuz i'm not that hi my name is aisha no i'm like or aisha ari and uh, my name's different i'm persian my i'm russian so everything was different i was in jamia mila islamia like wahan pe kota ke system kya hai muslim Muslim internal, Muslim OBC, Muslim woman, general. I was in general, and that too. In that general, I'm one specific item. ये क्या है? So Orin in college was weird. I I was a geek, nerd, into comics, into video games, and all the other girls were into girly shit. So luckily, a girl from my school where I did my 11th and 12th, the Dr. Radha Krishna International. She was not in my class. She was in the science department class. But we had a similar class. Like every time we had a sports, she was in there too. So I knew her, and she was all in with the other girls. And because she knew me, I could pave my way in. Hi. So she introduced me to the other girls. Else I would have been the lone wolf. Koi mera dar na jaane. Koi. But I had my dogs. So I was also known as Rani Kutta Bai. Because I would feed all the dogs. They would follow me everywhere. I would name them and everything. So I was weird, but at the same time, I was badass.